If Vice President Leni Robredo becomes the next Philippine president, she says she will move to abolish President Duterte's notorious anti-insurgency task force. I think I, I already mentioned this in some of the previous interviews that um, th there is really a duplication of many efforts, uh, the duplication of the mandate, a duplication of the mandate and and it has to be abolished. At the virtual R vote session organized by the Rotary Club of Makati on Tuesday, November 9, Robredo likens the persistent red tagging activities of the National Task Force to end local communist armed conflict or NTF LCAC to the police force's abuses in carrying out its bloody drug war called Oplan Tokhang. Ang, ang pinakatakot ko dito is that magiging Tokhang ulit ito. Magiging Tokhang version 2 in the sense that the mandate given to, to the body will be abused, um, will be used to harass, will be used to harass people. NTF LCAC has long been under fire for constantly accusing government critics and other civilians of working with communist rebels. Senators moved to slash 24 billion pesos from the task force's proposed 2022 budget due to its red tagging activities. In the same event, Robredo also reiterates peace talks with the Communist Party of the Philippines, its armed wing, New People's Army, and its political National Democratic Front should be continued. She rejects the quote-unquote militaristic approach against the communist insurgency and says basic services in conflict-affected areas should be increased.